everybody, Jason with the Chubby Leprechauns with you today to show you one of our really cool treasure hunt finds that we found, probably our coolest ever. To be honest with you, we found a storage unit full of old antiques, um, collectibles, and our biggest treasure, to be honest, was uh, about eight Civil War rifles and somewhere between 10 and 15 handguns, pistols that we found. And we're working through selling some of these. So we still had a bunch here in my office that we thought we'd uh, show you guys everybody before they all go away to let you know, you know, just kind of see what we've found so far. Sometimes uh, in our videos at this point, the couple of uh, storage units that we filmed in, with the exception of the one up near Seattle, uh, haven't been all that great. And so you might be watching and thinking, all these guys ever do is come across junk. No, and that's not true. We've actually come across uh, quite a few really cool finds. So... I've got an example here right here that just to show you guys, here's a, a pistol here. It's got a tag on it. A lot of them did. Uh, this guy collected some pretty cool stuff. This is a uh, 19, or I'm sorry, an 1886 Ivor Johnson pistol. Most of these were all kind of Civil War era, pre-1900. Um, Civil War era, like I said, Civil War era pistols. Uh, old pistols, very cool. And... Uh, just kind of give you guys a good look at this. Some of them, these were all actually wrapped in socks. <laughs> it was kind of funny when we found these. Every single one of them was wrapped in a sock. Um, so there's one. Actually, we'll, we'll go through each one of these here and just kind of show you guys what we've got. Set that one aside here in another sock. I've got one of these actually that you could stuff in a sock here. Check this out. Look at the grip on that. Just kind of, I think that's ivory. I haven't confirmed that, but just kind of the look and feel of that is that it is an ivory grip. Um, and this is a, let's see if I can see this, 1871 Ranger number two, 1871 Ranger number two. And all of these will be up. I have a, uh, a gun broker where you can buy and sell these, these guns. Um, account all these will be up on there i'll put a link in the video if you're interested in any of these um you know we have to do everything by the book with the with the rifles and with the pistols we can't just um take your word for it and trade some cash and hand you off a, a, a gun so uh we do these all up above board and make sure that uh the legal selling of these is accurate so let's go through i've got a, i've got three rifles here that we haven't actually finished off selling yet and a handful, uh, probably 10 pistols. So um, here we go. <clears throat> this is my, um, the funnest rifle I think it, that we found is um, here on the video. It's kind of tough to get the whole thing in. So we'll kind of scroll it across. This is a 18, would I look at this? This is a Daisy. Um, here it is. 1894 BB gun, Daisy rifle BB gun. I don't know if this was made as a replica of that or if this is really that old a BB gun from that age. Like I said, this guy was a collector, so uh, very good chance that this was made in 1894. Uh, well, it's a model 1894, so there's a very good chance that this is incredibly old as far as BB guns go. You know, not something you just picked up on the shelf to 10, 15 years ago. Um, so the guy collected this is really kind of more of a, a kids kind of rifle type of deal you get some good practice in um, shooting paper targets and tin cans and have a little fun with it that way so we'll get to the more <clears throat> uh, fun rifles here now i've got two left that we haven't sold we had uh some really cool winchesters uh that we've sold already <clears throat> now look at this one the uh the wood stock on this just absolutely beautiful um, you can see that there. This is a uh, double barrel gun. It does have a lot of markings on this, so I'll have to do some research here. In fact, this one, I believe, didn't have any markings at all on it. So I don't know, honestly, who made this. I'm going to have to do some research and digging into it. But what I do like about it is the, the wood stock is kept incredibly nice. Uh, very cool thing here on this rifle, this particular rifle. If I can turn that so you can see it, you can see one half looks like it's a uh, for a 22 gauge, and then the other half looks like a shotgun. So a hunting rifle where you could uh, go for birds or rabbits, I guess. You get 22 on one half and a shotgun on the other. 
pretty awesome uh, feature that you, I have not come across that very often. And this is uh, very, very old. It doesn't have a year marking on it that I can find in any way, but uh, we'll do some digging here on the internet before I put this up for sale and try and narrow down the year as best as I can on that. But based on everything we found from uh, this storage unit so far is, uh, you know, all of these rifles are again pre-1900s. And then the last rifle I'll show you before we get into the handguns. Again, similar double barrel shotgun here. This is a, a Stur U.S. I'm sorry, a, uh, it says H.J. Sterling on here. I don't have a year on this one either, but the stock is not too bad. It's starting to dry a little bit. I can feel it kind of wobble a bit. Um, just the age on these rifles are so incredibly old that, um, I'm sure I can put that up there so you can kind of see that. Look at this. So anyway, it's very cool. Double barrel. Um, yeah, the stock here is a little wobbly. Kind of cracked just a bit. Um, kind of typical of rifles of that age in that era. Um, we'll do a little digging here to try and narrow down the exact uh, year and model on that before we put it up for sale. And again, a uh, link down there on the Gun Broker uh, website that, for where we'll have some of these up. And we'll continue to be selling these for the next few weeks. Uh, you know, we don't, I don't throw them all up there all at once because it takes a little bit of time to do some research on them and figure them out. So anyways, I showed you guys in the socks some of the guns here that that this guy has wrapped up. So we'll go through the rest of the socks and the guns we have. And we had a, so a really cool uh, 357 Magnum that we sold a few weeks back and before we started realizing like, hey, we should show everybody what we got in here. But we still have some really cool ones. So here's the next sock, the next unveiling of the pistols. So here we go. See what we got here. Ooh, another, I believe, kind of has a 357 look to it. Let's. So the tag fell off, and I think it's probably still here in the sock. Let me feel the sock here. Hmm. I don't feel it in the sock. Oh, I'll dig that out here and see if we can tell you guys what's in the sock. Here we go. Got it. So this is an 1874 Derwin Herbert Winchester 4440. So 1844 Winchester Derwin 4440. Look at that, just beautiful. The wood on that just just kept really nice. The guy did a good job taking care of some of his some of the older stuff. The doesn't really seem to be a lot of corrosion or anything on the insides of that. Just absolutely beautiful. I'll, uh, keep that on a sock so again we found all of this just in a storage unit so kind of crazy let's go to the next one this one's gonna be small I can feel it here's a small little ankle sock and not sure what this this is a little single shot oh it's got it here's what I've got half of a leather holster here but look at this just a little single shot Single shot little pistol there. Pretty awesome. All right. Let's see if I can see any of the markings on this. It's tough to see with my old eyes. Um, Chicopee Falls. I don't know. I'll have to do some again. A lot of these take, one of the reasons it takes me a little while to sell these uh, off is uh, doing some of the research on them, trying to figure out what exactly do we have and what it's worth and where it came from how old it is let's see what we got down in here into the magic bag of, of pistols this is going to be another small one this one's wrapped in a washcloth and here we go look at this i tiny little tiny little pistol right not sure what exactly this is we'll look at the markings of it here uh see if we can find any and honestly, what I do with a lot of these, uh, if I don't know exactly what they are, is I'll just I'll do a Google image search, Google image search, and that gets me started to kind of finding out what the, what it is, um, and we go from there. And again, just a small little, you know, 
looks like there's a six shot. One, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six shots. I did check all of these, you know, when we, when we initially looked at them all, uh, make sure that none of them were loaded, everything was safe. Uh, this sock here feels like it's just part of a piece to the revolver. Still probably pretty old. Yeah, here we go. You can see that. Just an extra spare part he had for looks like a looks like a 22 possible possibly there. So moving right along here. Here we go. Again, I'm I am not a gun guy, so uh, you know I, this is all new to me. Uh, kind of a world I just don't know about very well. And um, so here's a little. This got. Uh, it looks like it has two shots available. I honestly don't know. I'm probably probably just going to make myself. I don't want to point the gun right at the camera. I realize that can look bad, but um, you can see two barrel two two barrels coming down there. Uh, just a small little kind of pocket pistol. Very cool. I like the grip on this. It's got uh, I don't know how to describe that, but pretty cool grip. All of these again. I have a cheat sheet here that uh, he's given that he had as to what a lot of these were. This says Remington Arms USM. I'm sorry, UMC Co. Only on New York. So a lot of times the manufacturers on this on these guns and where exactly they were made. So uh, we can kind of start to narrow them down from there. And let's see, we've got a few more disappearing. You can see the back of my. Sweet chair there coming apart. This is a pretty hefty, pretty hefty uh, pistol here. Oh wow! So look at this, pretty old. This looks like a old. Uh, oops, hold it up a little better for you guys. Sorry, old like cavalry officer style. That's got the the wood grip, gold um, outline here. Very cool. There is a tag on this, so let's see what the tag says. Navy Colt, um, Mexican 1313, not sure what that means. Sam Colt, New York, New York, 36 caliber, seven and a half inch barrel. So look at that, US Navy Colt, um, very cool uh, pistol. And if I remember right, this one is actually pretty valuable. Uh, and I say valuable, like probably worth more than $800, um, I hope, be nice. Uh, it says on the top here, address Colonel Sam Colt, New York, U.S. America. So I don't know why it says Mexican on here. I'll have to do some digging. Um, I see serial numbers on it. So I don't know. Very cool. Very cool. Very old. Uh, the year here does not. I don't have a year on this, but my guess is this is probably... 1860 to uh, possibly 1875 just based on some other similar guns that we found uh, I mean everything he has is incredibly old on the back of that the tag there it actually says 1851 so um, that, that could be could be 1851 and then our last one I think we're saving the some of the best two for last yeah this will be the last one Saving the best for last year on these two. It's got a tag here that I don't want to rip off because it'll tell me a little bit about what this is. All right, here we go. Yeah, this one's going to be really old too. I believe 1860. I'm trying not to tear the tag off of uh, what he's got on here because it's got some descriptions about it. And a guy like me who doesn't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and see the tag fell off, so I'm gonna disappear for a second while I pick that up. It says 60 Army on it, so let me show you guys this thing. This is looks like another Colt, kind of, I believe. We'll, I guess we'll find out here with the tag. Yeah, Army Colt PAT 1850 fluted cylinder, eight inch barrel. So another 1850. These are just collectible. These are collectible. No idea if you could fire this. It does look like. You know some corrosion there on the on the metal. Let me see if I can show you the the barrel there a little bit. I'll point it. Don't be safe. 
Um, and when we loaded all of these up, this looks like a black powder um, style here as well. I'm not sure. No, that's not black powder. I'm just talking out of my out of my head here. U.S. patent. Yeah. So, anyways, this here, by all means, this is a Army Colt. I believe 1860 is the year on this. I'll do some research to make sure that that's actually accurate. But look at that. Just and guys, we found all of this in a storage unit. So, along with you know, we had a whole bunch of rifles, which we've sold most of those, other than a couple that we saw today in the video. And then these, uh, we've sold probably four or five pistols already, and then we'll get these on the market here as soon as we can. But just wanted to share with you guys some of the things we're finding in uh, really cool uh, old collectibles, in the, all in a storage unit. All 100% in a storage unit. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are interested in any of these, um, I'll put a link again to my gun broker uh, account at the bottom. Uh, we do have to sell all of these legally. I, um, so, or send me a message and there is legal ways we can do it, not through gun broker, but again, just keep in mind that uh, we won't just be meeting you somewhere in a target parking lot and exchanging some cash for, for a gun. We'll have to do, make sure we do our due diligence here on our end, even though most of these are all really old and collectibles, there's still a lot of laws we have to follow. So, uh, but send us a message, maybe there's something we can do and uh, make sure that we just keep this all above board uh, to be safe. And, uh, Tell your friends if you like this, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this. More videos coming out soon. We're always in these storage units here recently and uh, always having a lot of fun. And we'll uh, be back with you another time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>